This is a set of dinner porcelain owned by George Washington. The eagle on the front is the symbol of the Society of the Cincinnati, an organization made up of officers from the American Revolution of which Washington was the first president general. Elegantly crafted porcelain sets like this one were used throughout the newly created United States by wealthy individuals to signify their prosperity, but they weren't actually made in America. They were made in China. In the 18th and early 19th centuries, after the arrival of the Empress of China, all Chinese goods came out of Canton. Chinese art often depicted scenes of Canton life with bright colors and sometimes westernized variations of Chinese motifs that appealed to American customers. A frequent subject of these paintings was of the 13 factories, a small area near Canton, which housed the entire foreign trading community. Wandering through the narrow alleys between the factories, down streets named Hog Lane and Old and New China Streets, American merchants could place orders through wholesalers for porcelain, artwork, lacquerware, and other exquisite items as souvenirs for themselves, family, and friends. This is how a fine china porcelain set found its way into George Washington's home. While art served as a window into the world of American merchants in Canton, it was the dinner table that brought Americans and Chinese together. Canton's famous 20-course meal was described by one American merchant in 1818 as containing bird nest soups, gelatinous food, a variety of stewed hashes made of chopped meats, some fish, and all sorts of vegetables and pickles. It was very impressive. Some Chinese chefs also became adept at preparing Western-style dishes for their foreign employers at the 13 factories. This culinary exchange was a language that both Americans and Chinese could communicate in as they learned to appreciate new flavors. Trade may have introduced the two countries in 1784, but it was connections through art and food that continued to draw American and Chinese people together in Canton. Thank you for watching. Find out what happens next on The Healers and The Teachers.